Hey y'all, I've been so productive today because I'm so bored. Me and my brother went to the laundromat, we went grocery shopping, I cleaned out my parents' old room. A bird just flew across my window. Speaking of birds, the mother robin that's on my porch light, her baby's hatched and they're so cute. You can see them from the front room window and I love it. But I did all that, went to the bank, went to Office Max, shipped U-Haw packages, went to the library to print out the labels. And around here, I've been so utterly bored that I also cleaned the living room and I found this blanket and it's a red blanket and it has ducks on it. Ducks and like little lilies. But there was a big hole in it, like right down the middle. And I'm like, I've never seen this blanket before. And also, who did that? Because it looks like somebody cut it with scissors. Um, but I forgot that I had yarn and I sewed it. And you can like tell, obviously, where it is, especially when you turn it around. Because it's white on this side. Isn't that so cool? You can see where I sewed it. But like, now I have a cute little duck blanket. And I think I did really good at sewing it. Like, for a blanket with, like, the frills and, like, the yarn that is used, I don't think I did too bad of a job. I love it. It's kind of the same, it's exactly the same material as my Halsey blanket that I got from the I Can't Hello I Want Power Tour, and I love that blanket. And I love ducks, so now it's the best of both worlds. I went to my friend's 22nd birthday a couple days ago at round one, which is a little... Not little, it's a huge arcade actually at Great Lakes Crossing in Michigan. But look! Technically my friend won me this because I kept losing and they're better at claw machines than I am. They got me a little Karomi and like I have a baby. I'm like, let me move my ladybug. You can see her up there. I have a smaller one from Five and Below and I love the original Karomi but man there's something about the purple. I don't know if it's because purple's my favorite color. But I'm so happy I have her now. And then, not Paul. I've had Paul for a while. He's a snooze mole. But this silly little shark. Isn't he just the goofiest little guy? He's not that little. He's actually pretty big. Um, <laughs> but he's so cute. <laughs> and then they also won me this one because I ran out of credits. I, they, this one, you got to pick up the Karomi yourself, like with the claw, um, but this one you had to pick up like a, uh, what the hell was it called? A circular like pillow kind of, and you had to drop that into the thing and then a worker would come and get you one of these. And I kept just flipping it over because I would grab it, same thing with the Karomi, it would grab it and then the second it like hit the top it would wobble a little bit and let go and I'm like, You've got to be fucking kidding me. And as soon as I gave up and my friend tried, they got it. But I love them. I named him Derek, and obviously my girl's name don't change. No routine blood test required. Doctors have been prescribing Otesla for over a decade. Otesla is also approved to treat psoriatic arthritis. Don't give up.
Okay, so we're in my kitchen because I took all my DVDs and VHS tapes that were in my room and the living room, and I'm gonna put them in the front room. And it's gonna take it a long time, and this isn't even all of them because, as I said, my basement flooded a couple like a month and a half ago or something like that, and I have more of the Disney VHS tapes downstairs. I mean, in the garage. <laughs> that I have to find some place to put them. I don't even think this is gonna fit everything. The two things I have set up, and I have more actually. In this case right here. Those are my dad's CDs and then you have my DVDs. And my DVDs take up all the ones in the bottom. This feels weird. Uh, I've never shown y'all my front room. But this is where I'm going to put most of them until I run out of space. And then I'll have to find another thing to put them on. I also want to take my mini TV and put it where my camera is at the moment. And I think I want to organize or display my Nightmare on Elm Street tapes. Because I definitely want my VHS tapes to be the top two. Because technically that's what this is meant for is VHS tapes. But also the thing is, is I have things like Welcome to the... the I was just going to say Welcome to the Black Parade. That's definitely not what I meant. <laughs> the Curse of the Black Pearl. But I have all the other ones on DVD. So like the series won't be together if I split them off. Here's my Rugrats. All rainbow. I'm gonna flip these over. I guess I can start DVDs here and it'll make me be able to put Curse of the Black Pearl. I mean, the rest of the... Why can't I speak today? The rest of Pirates of the Caribbean. Because this is the extent of my VHS tapes, except my, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Here's the finished product. So, the three middles right here, and then Sleepy Hollow and a Cinderella Story, I'm going to list online, because I have copies of them. And then I just have my two fair VHS tapes up there at the moment. Three, actually, because Legally Blonde doesn't have a case. This is all of my That 70s show. I'm not going to go through this all because it would take forever. This one's mostly mostly my Disney section, some cartoons. Yeah, and the bottom over here is Spongebob, Sex and the City, some more movies. I think Twilight's over here. Up, you have some more cartoons. And then this is mostly horror and then my Harry Potter. I've actually never seen this movie series, but I thrifted them all. So there they are. My Scooby-Doo, more cartoons, and then All My Middle, and then George Lopez. And then we have, okay, Mamma Mia, Aquamarine, My Pirates of Caribbean, more horror movies, but these are all VHS tapes. And then we have my other VHSs. So we have my childhood favorites, and then this is kind of just here. I wanted it to fade into, like, the horror section, which it kind of does, but... Yeah. I'm in love. Just a little movie corner when I find the rest of my Disney ones. They're gonna go up here. Piled high. Because I don't have another stand. So, um, this used to be where my jewelry box was, but now with all of my tea set from when I was a kid and all of the crystals I just got in and all of my stuff, I think I'm gonna make an Alice in Wonderland corner. And I'm very excited by the ideas that I have in my head at the moment. Tell me why I kind of bodied this. Look at the details. The little cards. Tiny little teapot. My crystal confetti in there. The little keys. Little butterflies. A little bottle with more cards in there. Tons of little bottles. Little fairy, big fairy, little thimble. Like, you're joking. With my map. 
And then on the side, I have a little, if I can get over there. Yeah, I did that. 